Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I decided to take up on another challenge and this time what we're gonna be doing is a 25 face expressions challenge. To be fair with you, I rarely do any super extraordinary face expressions on my drawings. I usually stick with a smile or smile with teeth sometimes because this is what, in my opinion, looks the best on my drawings and this is also what I feel comfortable with. But today I decided to study the topic of facial expressions a little bit more and challenge up myself to do something different from what I usually do. So if you're interested in seeing if I'm gonna manage to snatch all the 25 face expressions, then make sure you keep on watching. Alright, so I started off with writing down all the emotions that I'm gonna be depicting today. I also prepared a couple of necessary supplies because I felt like I'm going to approach this challenge in a slightly different and more sketchy way. Using just a pencil will let me feel more free with my sketches and it will also give me more rough and less defined appeal to my drawings, which in this case might nicely enhance the emotions. And also a very important thing to mention beforehand is that all the face expressions I'm gonna be drawing today are based on an exercise sheet created by Nancy Lawrence. I believe she's the one that created and invented this challenge first, so if you're interested in joining the challenge yourself, I advise you Google it up. And one more thing worth to point out is that all of the sketches that I'm gonna be doing today are based on my face. And yeah, you can laugh and doubt it as much as you want, but I really think that the best model and a reference for all your drawing you can have is yourself. And it's just so easy to take a mirror, make a face or a pose you want to draw, and then you can see all the needed details that you should mind while drawing. And this was obviously what I was doing while creating these sketches. I just took a couple of pictures of myself doing all those funny and weird face expressions and I just had the best reference pictures I could have. It can be quicker and easier than that, trust me. Okay, so now let's get on to the actual drawing part. So I started off with sketching a happy face, so that was pretty simple, right? But as the challenge goes, it gets way more tricky. This exercise made me realize a lot of things about the facial expressions. How to depict them, what has the most impact on how the emotion is going to look like at the end, how to show an emotion that is not that obvious, let's say, but it's rather something that is inside of us than outside. All of those little details that at the end will affect your whole drawing. And speaking about all these more complicated emotions, I think that it's one of the hardest things for illustrators and artists in general to actually show and depict emotions like bereft or incredulous. And I bet that every one of us would be able to easily recognize those emotions in real life, but believe me, when you're drawing and you need to depict something on the paper, it's a totally different thing. And while I was drawing, I noticed which face features had the most impact on the final outcome of each face expressions, and my conclusion was that it was definitely eyes and eyebrows. And no shocker, like in real life, eyes could really tell everything, but on paper it's not that easy again. That's why eyebrows are the artist's best weapon, I would say. If they are placed and carved out in the right way, they can change your drawing completely and they can give you the desired effect of each facial expression. And even though I went through this challenge and drew all the facial expressions on a quite decent level, I would say, I still need way, way more practice. I was quite confident at first that I would be fine drawing all these emotions, but some of the face expressions were really hard to execute. So for me, that's just an obvious sign that I need to put in work and practice this topic more. But for me, it was really an interesting and fun experience at the same time, because I actually really rarely find some time to practice something else that I rarely do. So this challenge kind of forced me to practice on the subject that is not that familiar to me. So if you're guys also struggling with finding some time for study, study art and drawing, of course, then I advise you to take up on challenges because then you're actually forcing yourself to practice and then it's no turning back and it's only gonna be beneficial for you.
and here you can see all the 25 faces all together and I think that my favorite ones are definitely tired, irritated, flirty, silly and drunk and maybe sarcastic as well and which ones are your faves? Let me know in the comments! Alright, so that's all for today's video and let me know guys if you think that I managed to actually make all the 25 facial expressions on a decent level, let's say. Let me know in the comments. And also to every one of you that is struggling with facial expressions, I advise you to try out this challenge yourself. It's actually a great way and a fun way at the same time to practice a little bit and study all the face expressions and uh, level up your facial expressions game basically. So I advise you try it out yourself like I said. And of course, like always, please give this video a like if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with all the newest videos. And you can also hit that notification bell to be a part of early gang, let's say. And thank you guys so so much for watching and I'll be seeing you very soon. Bye bye! I'm just going with the gut, never had a doubt, felt like this is just a must Put me in perspective, I'm the deepest in the cut, everybody tuning in, but this is just for us now